What's up everyone? Today we have this. It's an Oral-B toothbrush. So it looks quite old, kind of moldy or rusty. But it is overall quite dirty. So today we're gonna be taking it apart. So I've heard of a method where you can put it back on its base and then rotate it and it should come off, but uh, I'm not sure who said that. So here we remove the bottom which released all that stuff onto my table. It's nasty. Now, um, I'll grab, oh wait, there's a spring. Not sure why. Here, we have the battery, hang on. So here's the charging coil. So, oh, there goes the charging coil. So we're just gonna try to knock this part out. So we'll see. So here we have the connections to the motor and here's the main board. I, now I believe if I, if I just press the power button, it will turn on. But if it's all the way down there, how's that work? Power button's gotta be up here somewhere. Somehow this one down here is the power button. Yet, if you look at it, either way, it would be somewhere up here, and yet there's no button. Must be some kind of pressure sensitive thing that powers it. Hmm. Strange. All right, here's some kind of metal frame. Hmm. Oh wow, it looks like it's spot welded to the frame, the motor. So they've definitely improved upon design compared to their much older ones. Let's see what else we can remove. So of course we'll be making lots of use of this um, wrench. Peel the frame aside. And we can remove the mechanism that kind of... Okay, looks like there's another piece of the frame here. Looks to be of a higher grade steel than the other one. The other part of the frame. This one is a lot more bendable. trying to figure out how to get this part out. So I'm thinking of holding the motor in a, holding the motor in one of these uh, adjustable wrenches. Fell down. 
So here is essentially that mechanism that allows it to go back and forth, back and forth. See? Kind of like a cam, not really, no, not the camshaft. Uh, those things that make the pistons go up and down in the car. And this, I don't really know how it comes apart. Okay, I guess that's how it is. Oh, I've hit the camera. Well, there's the shaft. In there could be a spring because it does feel some, re I feel some uh, resistance. And we can turn on the motor one more time. That's what it sounds like. We have broke one of the spot welds and the frame is now kind of coming apart. Now, <laughs> I'd like to further clarify, this is not supposed to be taken as a repair video. As a lot of you, a lot of you commenting are misleaded that my teardown videos are repair videos. They are not repair videos, unless I specifically say this is for repair. They are meant for destruction. So we can press power again, see what happens. That's what happens. Oh, the terminal shorted out. Hang on, check this out. It still works. It still works. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> All right, I dropped it. But I pick it up, the indicator, the light start flashing red. The battery's quite hot. So I may as well cut the connections to the motor. And make sure they don't short. Now cutting the connection to the battery. Right, it is disconnected. I'm not sure what these do. Some oh, looks like it just split. Not sure what those are. Two little that look like cylindrical things. Those, there's that one that split, and there's a solid one. So. Yeah, there are parts of this toothbrush everywhere. It didn't go as as nicely as planned. Lots of copper wire there. There's a wide view of the desk. All right, well, this time to go to time to clean up this area. So yeah, again, don't be misled. It's not a repair video. It's a teardown video with no success of repair. Nor did I intend to repair this thing. So, thanks for watching. Oh, if you wanted to see the 
main board. Here you go. I'll zoom in two times on it. There it is. The main microchip. I know it's upside down, but you wouldn't know how to flip it. But, yeah, there it is. Thanks for watching. Uh, like, subscribe, and share. I'll see you next time.